Hello, the video you're about to watch is about um, this particular saw here and this is a comparison video between this and two of the older versions of the saw that I have uh, being the Fury 1B and the Rage 1B this is the R185 CCSL now when I've done the um, edited out the video uh, it seemed like I was a little bit negative towards this saw compared to the old saws um, that being the case it's not a reflection on the company evolution tools themselves they are a brilliant company and their their you know their customer service is actually second to none um, I've dealt with them on several occasions now over the years and they are actually a good company so it's not a bad reflection on them um, but on the same on saying that I am not going to tell my viewers out there that this is a brilliant tool when it's not or I'm, going to, I'm not going to big it up to you know make it better than or sound better than it actually is I'm not going to do that to my viewers that's not what I'm about I will tell you straight down the line whether whether something is actually good or bad so please leave comments down below and enjoy the video hello and welcome to Holton's Fix It 101 uh, today we are going to focus on uh, doing the comparison video that I promised you in the last one for Evolution that we was going to do a, uh, a series of three videos and this is the second one we will we, be doing the comparison video okay now here you can see we got I got set up the three uh, saws that I have from Evolution Tools uh, obviously this is the Fury 1B uh, this one is uh, particularly this one is uh, a mine I've actually bought this with my own hard-earned money uh, this one over here is the Rage uh, 1B and this one actually belongs to my father um, it's got a slightly upgraded blade in it because for what he wanted to use um, basically the Fury 1B and the Rage 1B are essentially the same saw um, they just got green over moulds and this one's got the orangey red over moulds and everything else but obviously the star of the show uh, is the new version of the Evolution Circular Saw that they brought out there are a lot of different um, comparisons with uh, between these saws uh, obviously the the Fury and the Rage is the older version of the circular saw and this is the new newer version but I'm sorry to say have they upgraded it have they improved on it um, my opinion may my my mileage might vary for other people um, but I don't think that they have um, now I'm sorry evolution but uh, I think that uh, you you really need to go back to the drawing board and uh, do slightly better and I will explain all of this in due course because there are a lot of differences between these saws and it, it, it just just doesn't seem to me that um, they, they've done a very good job of upgrading from what they had that's just my opinion that's no one else's you know that, that you know you could you can have a look at the saws yourself you know go out and get one you know look at one on in one of the some of the the, the stores or whatever and, and you can never look for yourself but this this is my opinion now I've had a chance to over the last few days um, to have a really good in-depth look at these saws and and I, I really don't think that they they've done a very good job of improving on what they had um, that's just my opinion but uh, let's have a quick look at some of the some of the things that we will have a, a closer look at um, there obviously you know as I said in the last video the dust collection um, it, it's very very poor on the new version um, you know to the point that I doubtful whether it'll even work even properly to uh, compare to the old version um, as you can see in the old version we have this uh, great big hole here um, dust port if you want uh, that you can be able to put your own vacuum cleaner into 
and you can take off all the debris that comes off the off off the blade. Um, on my version on, of of that particular one, you can see here that I put one of my um, Dewalt airlock collect connectors into it, so I can put my connectors directly on there, and it will stay there and hook up and everything else. That's all um, glued in there and everything else. I've made some modifications to this saw to make the dust collection a bit more efficient. Um, so, so that 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 was a that was a you know a good thing that they you you can put a vacuum cleaner into that. But the new version here, uh, well, as I said in the old in in the other video, um, that uh, it's not as good as the old version. Um, in, in my opinion, this 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 little port here is is what you get, and it, you you're you'll be hard hard pushed to try and find a hose or something like that that will actually um, connect up to it. Um, hence that I've gone gone ahead and I've 3D printed um, a connector that connects into my Dewalt um, airlock connector and it will also connect onto the end of here as well um, so I can actually use my vacuum uh, cleaner to actually connect up to this saw um, you know it, it's it's quite um, you know it's a unique size that they put on there um, it, it, and you, it's your hard job to find any any cause or like connector that, um, that uh, you know for your vacuum cleaner there are a lot, of, a lot, a lot of other different differences that I found with this saw. Um, the sole plate on the new one. Um, I, how do I put this in, in, a, in, in a nice term? That you know, it, I would say that it's not so good as the old version. The old version here, even even the Rage and the and the Fury, um, they they've got aluminium sole plates now this sole plate on here is absolutely great because it's so smooth it's nice um, I'll get you a close-up of that I'll, I'll post a picture so you'll be able to get a close-up of this um, but the it's, it's nice and smooth uh, it, it's made of aluminium it's very very tough it's not going to flex um, on, on when you when you're actually using it on what you wherever you're cutting basically the same goes for the for the, for the rage. Um, they put um, they put a nice. Um, oh, sorry about that. I think I've got a. I think I've got a bird on my roof. Right here we are. I've got the two saws on the bench, and I'm doing a direct comparison between uh, the rage and the new R185 CCSL um, because one because of the color and this is the newer between the rage and the fury this is the newer one that, that they brought out of the old version now i'll get get you a bit of a better close-up here of what you can see uh of the uh new compared to the old obviously the new the old version has this big port as you i, I explained earlier and this one has this plastic piece that goes on the end of here now you can get I'll give you a better close-up of what you can see of the sole plate now you can see what I mean this is a nice aluminium sole plate it's nice and smooth on the bottom of this sole plate and if, if whatever you're running uh, this saw over whether it be wood metal or whatever it's going to be running over it's going to run over there without any hesitation or anything like that now obviously the new CCSL um, has this press steeled uh, sole plate and you can hear by if I put it up to the um, put it up to the microphone it's it is very very rough it's like sandpaper on the bottom of there and, and I don't think that's an improvement whatsoever now Obviously, and one thing I didn't show you earlier that was um, the adjustment for the um, height of the blade here on the back here it has a nice uh, tightener on the back of there and that will adjust the height on the back of the saw it's exactly the same on the Fury um, this one has that lever on the back of there which 
it, it's not I'm not impressed with that that version oh if, if they're going to put a lever on there at least make the the lever uh, out of metal or something like that so because if that lever was to break off there'd be no way of adjusting would be adjusting this at least if this was to break off you'd be able to put a um, you know if this bit of plastic through here uh, if that was a break off at least then you'd be able to get something in there put a, put a nut on it put a spanner on it you can adjust it still this you you you, you won't be able to it, it's in my opinion i don't think it's very good at all you know this has a lot less like rubberized over mold this one has a lot more but it's this handle at the front you've got a nice big handle here I'm quite impressed with this handle on here. The fact that the handle is off a, a skew, and I showed you that in the last video. Um, it, it, it's off a skew, so it is nice in your hand to, to handle. It is quite a lot lighter, but then again, this has been made with, uh, I, I, I would say, a lot less uh, material actually put into the machine than what this one is. This one's a much more heavier machine. But then you would expect that because um, it's got that nice aluminium base on it that doesn't flex. This does not move one little bit. And um, over time, I, I would think that this will this this will flex. In fact, it is flexing now. If I really press on it, 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 it really is flexing. This does not move at all. Um, obviously, the innovations and everything else you know this has got the soft start this hasn't but i don't think that to be in my opinion this is not a selling point so um there we go nice bit of, nice close up of the two saws together there are a lot of things that are going for the new saw up against the old saw they're they're, they're all 1200 watts um in power um there is a couple of things that are that is going for the um, the new saw. Uh, they got a lovely um, grip on the handle here, whereas this is only has you just about see it. Um, it only has this this uh, rubber over mold on the back of the um, handle. Um, same goes for the Fury, but um, is a couple of pointers that was actually brought up. Um, by my father to be honest with you when he had a quick look over the over the two saws as well that uh, this handle on the front here uh, uh, you can see this handle here is nice and long it's exactly the same as what is on the Rage 1B uh, but you can see here on the on the, uh, the new version it is just this great big you know donut handle here um, now he he brought up a point now that if you, if you are a, a person that can't grip very well, then it would be better for someone to actually grip uh, a handle like that, because there's more gripping surface to grip hold of than what it would to actually grip that 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 uh, that handle there. There's 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 a few things about it that that he brought up. Um, I was going over the two saws as well and there's a few other things and I brought it up in the last video that the the pin here that they have here and I, I put a uh, picture of it up there for you as well the pin that, that actually isn't here this one is a roll pin um, both the fury and both the rage and the fury they both have in that that pivot pin is a solid pin in there and i'll put a picture for that up here as well but it's actually a solid pin goes through there with a um, clip on the back to hold the pin in now that that to me is that that there is more solid than what that will actually be it to be honest with you it's this is this has been made to a price this is our this is how we look at it this has been made to a price this has been made to last and you know and this is what I'm I'm finding between the comparison between the two saws at this point in time you know this this says it has four out of five stars now how it got to that I don't know but it does what it says on the tin you know on, on the box or whatever if I want for a better word it does what it says on the box 
it, it does cut it does cut metal it does cut plastic and it does cut wood with nails and god knows what in it it does all of those things but so does these two and these ones are I mean, in my my opinion are built better than this now that's my, only my opinion um you know, there's a lot of things going for the new saw don't get me wrong there's a lot of things going for the new saw um, it has, has a 1200 mot motor but the motor is actually soft start and it will actually switch off within you know within a couple of seconds the, it, the, the blade is stopped spinning whereas the the rage and the fury when it doesn't have soft start it's straight into action and the uh, and it doesn't switch off and it the blade will keep spinning for a good five maybe six seconds after you've um, let go of the trigger but is that really a selling point now I've, I've got to be honest with people you know is that a selling point you want you want to know whether the saw cuts you don't care about whether the whether the whether it takes time to spin up or, or whether it'll slow down it is it really a selling point of a saw yeah everyone mile everyone's mileage is different now another thing i've noticed that with with this the new saw being that it's got a pressed out steel sole plate you also notice that the arc that's on the front here is also made out of pressed steel the, for adjustment of the saw to be tipped over for bevel cuts now the rage and the fury are fully integrated into the the sole plate here the same as what this is but these are actually molded in the aluminium the same as what the sole plate is now and i consider that to be a much much stronger um uh, thing than having that as a pressed steel these have uh twist handles here and this has a lever to to, to obviously operate that to go over to you know bevel it over now is that is obviously is that as another selling selling point you know it does that have we got levers on there now to make it easier i don't think so it it doesn't matter to me uh, everyone's obviously everyone's different but it doesn't matter to me whether i've got a twist uh, a, a screw on there or well, exactly the exactly the same on the um on the fury as well it, 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 that that's doesn't matter to me as long as i be able to tip it over and i can lock it in position and make sure it's locked in position and to be honest with you i would prefer if i could really lock that off and make sure it's tight then then actually put a lever down and it goes to a point and then it stops and then it might move i really don't think that that's an improvement either there, like I say, there are there are a few things about these saws that I don't think there is an improvement. Now, obviously, this one is supposed to be the upgraded version, and you can see here on the shroud on here, it's much more beefed up. It's much more bigger, and I I, I consider this to be a lot more stronger than that. Uh, whether it's been made to different materials or not or whatever but there's also some screws around the outside of here that you can just about see on the camera i know and the same goes for the fury that's that's got screws around here so this whole side clamshell here can come off this one is all one molded product here so if you do have something that's actually stuck up in in behind here and you can't get it out at least with this one you can take the side off and get whatever's stuck in there out this one you can't you can't get your fingers in there to get get something out or get some or get 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 something in there to get it out this one you can take the whole side off that's it done not a problem you know so questions are being asked now whether this is is it an upgrade to the old version no nah, i don't know i really really don't know uh, you know it, it it remains to be seen to be honest with you because in my opinion i think that this has been like like i say this has been made to a price and these have been made to last now 
you know it's, whether that whether that's the way forward with tools these days I, I really don't know it seems to be it just seems to be um, but uh, you know would I recommend would I recommend these to um, people out there potential buyers or whatever that wants to go out and buy buy these saws yes in part i would recommend this one yes in part but there is the big but uh if you got one of the old saws if you have one of the old saws stick with it don't go out and get one of the new ones because you would be a little bit disappointed well more probably more than a little bit but that's up that's that's your opinion you know you would be disappointed if be going from the old version to the new version if you want a new, if, if and if you haven't got any of these saws, then by all means go out and get the new one because you'll be very, 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 very satisfied with how it cuts and what it does and everything else. It's nice. It's much, much lighter than those, but you that's that's to be expected because you've got more of a big aluminium sole plate on there. This is all beefed up more, much more than that. You expect the the old versions to be a little bit heavier. So. Like I say, if if you already if you already got one of these, stick with it. Don't upgrade because you'll be disappointed by upgrading because this is not as good as those. If that's my opinion, everyone's mileage might might change. They they think that oh this is the best thing since sliced bread. That's their opinion, but this is my opinion. Stick with your old ones because it seems to be a a better option than the, what they've just brought out. Now, if you like this video, please click on the uh, like button down below and uh, subscribe to the channel. And please click on that like button or the sorry, you know, the the bell. Sorry, I do apologise. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, please leave comments down below. Um, whether they're positive or negative, it all helps me out because it brings better content to you people out there. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.